Welcome to Joe's RC Pit. Sorry I haven't made a video in a while, but I've been kind of busy. But I want to talk today about FPV ground stations. This is my FPV ground station for my TBS Discovery Pro. And I want to talk about some of the problems that I had in this build and things that uh, maybe I can help some of you guys with so you don't suffer through the same pains that I did. Uh, the main problem that I had was getting the telemetry to work with a uh, Android device. And uh, basically, uh, the main problem was getting the Android software to actually recognize the data and getting it to work. The main problem that I had was you have to connect the, the, the uh, Immersion RC OSD to your computer by holding the middle button and then plugging the USB cable into your computer, loading the Immersion RC software, and then going in and selecting the, selecting the telemetry speed to normal. Uh, by default, it's set to slow, and it will work with the Apple devices on slow, though uh, not very well. Uh, but when set to normal, they work great. You get 100% packets on the Apple device. You get 100% packets on the Android device. And, I, and uh, this is a, uh, a Toshiba Thrive tablet. We've also tried it with the Google Nexus 7 uh, miniature tablet and also with the Apple iPad first generation. And it works beautifully with all of them. Once This is the... Uh, the screen that you need to see. I don't think I've seen uh, any videos. I've seen some pictures online, but I've never seen any videos of what the data should actually look like, and hopefully this will help you guys out. Uh, this would have helped me out to know what the data should look like. If your data is up here, uh, and it looks like it's uh, more like a square wave, it's clipping, you have to get one of these amplitude reducing cables. Uh, this is one that I actually bought uh, online, uh, and I do recommend this one. This is the Android Apple cable because it does have a potentiometer inside this connector that you can adjust to adjust the uh, amplitude. Uh, the one I built was the one from the circuit that was in the instructions that came with the Immersion uh, Easy OSD, but it uh, amplitude was a little bit high and uh, my resistors were a little bit off. But with this one's nice because you can adjust it and uh, everything's working well. Uh, once you have it working, then when you go to your software here, you'll see where your plane is located. And then, of course, you'll have your voltage, current, and all your telemetry uh, data that's coming from the EZOSD. This is the same data that's coming up on the ground station display over here. Uh, I do apologize. It's a little bit bright. But this display is meant to be used out in the sun with uh, there's a sun shield here that you put over it. And then you'll be able to see that one uh, on a bright, sunny day. Uh, but it is a little bit bright for my camera, so we're not able to uh, actually get a really clear shot of that. But the important thing is when your data looks like that, you come over here, you'll be getting 100% good packets. You'll have all your data, and everything will be working great. If you got any questions, please post them to the YouTube site, and I will try to answer them as soon as possible. Thanks for watching.